Welcome to the first in a new series, playing the best games from the Ludum Dare 41 Game Jam. Now this time round, people had to make games that mashed up two incompatible genres, all in one weekend, uh, which resulted in some truly bizarre and original ideas, and a lot of jokes. Um, so our first game is Pokemon. Um, you have to collect cards to form a hand in the bottom right, then you take on ghosts, challenge them, and if your hand is better than theirs, you win cash. I lost. Okay, let's actually start a proper full game, so I'm not just like yakking on. Uh, right, okay, so let's see. Um, let's get oh, four, that's no good. Let's get an ace, I'll get an ace. Uh, and you just have to keep on going until all the cards are gone from the level. And oh, there's an ace, but Bluey, what's his name, Inky is guarding it. Oh, get, ow! Well, he challenged me. Um, it's, a, it's a challenge of the high cards. I, I happen to have an ace, so I won. So I'm happy enough. Now, oh, piss off, mate. Mate! Oh, I'm just going to get grab a few of these things from over here. Seven, five, six, five. We've got a pair of fives. That is a bit piss. Um, but you're crap. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Challenge. Yes. One pair versus high card. Ooh, we are the biggest, highest rollers ever. Um, by the way, this is the two-day compo version. Apparently, they are working on a, 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 a an updated version, a longer version. I think I'm going to go for Clyde again. He's really not even trying at the moment. That was another battle of the high cards. Um, it's a bit difficult to actually... Piss off! It's a bit difficult to actually get good hands in this! Well, fine. Let's go to the next level. Which is exactly the same, only the minimum bet is now $7. Um, I've got 50 quid, which is by far the most. Although I've just lost 7 quid, so there's that. And so on, really. I don't think there's anything more complicated about this. So let's actually move on to the next game. This is Birkenoid, which mashes up card games and breakout. Um, so let's select level. Let's select level one. Let's be a devil. And we have to destroy all the blue things. We've got to play cards, and it's like a turn-based breakout. So the ball is moving very slowly at the moment. Um, let's play. Let's play dash northwest. I'll send the ball kind of well northwestish. Then shield. Let's try shield. Not quite sure what that did. I'm not quite sure what Snipe does, but I think that's some... Um, it sends it the direction of the spinny ball thing, which are wherever it happens to be when you play it. Let's try random. Oh dear, that just sent it off in a random direction. Slow? Eh, whatever. So I've just got to kill all the blue things. So, add an extra ball. Hello, lad. Shield. I'm not quite sure why you need a shield. Let's snipe by going when it's there. Perfect. I actually got a couple of them there. Dash north. That's not very useful. And snipe, here we go, let's snipe again. Go over to the left. Now! Yes, I'm going to hang at this. And dash north, yes! Right, so the red ones, you're not supposed to actually attack the red ones, I believe. I don't fully understand that, but apparently that's bad. So let's go west. Oh, almost done it, actually. Let's snipe to the right. Done it! They're just Oh, there's one lad left now. The red lad has turned into a blue lad, so we need to kill him. Go up right. We've almost done this. Southeast or south? Oh, this is a bit of a problem. Let's go south first. Now. And then southeast once that little right hand ball goes upwards. And then we'll have completed the level. Oh, this is this is actually a really good one. Victory! Yes! Next level. Oh, this is all kinds of chaos. Um Let's go northwest. That looks very safe. Oh dear, that <laughs> Look at the trajectory of that bugger. Oh god. Snipe. Oh, that's turned everyone into blueies. Cool, okay, that'll do. Dash southeast. Dash. Hmm. Not really very useful either of these. Bit of a slow way. And then dash east. Why not? Then we get ourselves new cards. Random. West. Oh dear, that missed everything. How did that miss everything? Nah, yeah, shield. Shield. Get you. And then dash south. Then we go. Oh, this is. I'm getting the hang of this. I think sniping cards tend to be the most useful because you can they can control do whatever the hell you want. Really control it. Extra ball, yes. Go north. Then oh dear, that played that bit prematurely. Go! Yeah, I think we're really getting this now. Northwest. A snipe. Down. And snipe. Now! Yep, 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 yep. We've almost done this. Random. Not quite sure why random there down to get rid of those and then we just need a kind of let's snipe and we've oh, my, oh we've got loads to the right haven't we let's go off to the right southwest wait for it the wall wait for it and down now we need them to go to the right that was that was just a random shield don't know, yeah 
Right, wait for it, wait for it. Now! Uh, oh god, the ball just got trapped on the top right. It just, it, <laughs> it just, yeah, hit the block and just pissed off into space. Oh dear. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Right, nearly done. Not quite sure what the slow is for, but... Oh, extra ball! Random. Sans oh, here's a snipe. Bingo! Yes! Actually, this is, this is actually been so far... I know I haven't really played very many so far, but this has already proven to be a bit of a favourite of mine. This is really rather cool. This is Rhythm is Lava. Uh, this one mashes up puzzle games and rhythm games, and also chucks in some hot platforming action. Uh, so this is on the Pico 8 game engine, uh, which is often favoured by people who enter the two-day compo for Ludum Dare. Uh, look, look, I am controlling two people. Um, oh, no, don't press that, because that resets your progress. It's up to jump, annoyingly. Um, but, other than that, it's really good. So, let's get our lads onto the new screen. Now the puzzles start in earnest, and you can see the lava is rhythm rhythmic me <laughs> is moving across the landscape, so we have to be a bit careful with our moves. And we can't stand on each other's heads, otherwise we kill each other. Let's try and get a, get a move on. Oh, bloody hell. The lava appeared there. Um, okay, that's fine. Right, I think we only have to get one person off. There we go. Oh, dicks. Yes, I stood on the other person's head. Shouldn't do that. Right. So the rhythm aspect isn't a major part of it, really, apart from the fact that you've got some moving lava. Right, careful. Oh, hang on, what's going on? Oh, careful. The other guy... No, he used to go and move, press the button. There we go. Right, the green guy got off the screen. Right, okay, that's fine. Right, so I need to move lefty. Over here. Jump. Jump. Careful. Don't stand on each other's heads. Careful. Oh, careful of the lava. Oh, what? Oh, I, I died at the very last second because of my own rampant stupidity. I'm just going to ignore the lava for now. Oh, I've done it again. Although you don't even have to land each other's heads. You just have to touch each other when you die. So you've really got to be careful. Also, I'm losing hearts rapidly because I keep on jumping onto the bloody lava. Right, come on. Be careful. There we go. See, the lava's moving quickly now because the music's changed. Right, careful. So lefty needs to go in. Careful. Press the button. Stay on the button. Run, 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 run. I'm losing hearts rapidly, but you do get them refreshed at the, um, the start of a screen. Uh-oh. What's this? This is looking like hell. Ah! Right, so now what? Oh. <laughs> Green, how do you actually get anywhere? Oh, it's all gone fast as well. In fact, no, I don't actually need to do it, do I? Just... Hang on. Let's get... All I have to do is get red... Fall up, make red fall off the bottom? Ah. I didn't even need to do anything with green. Apparently I've found a shop. I think. Have I found a shop? It's turned into a roguelike as well. Coffee costs $15. I've only got four. We've split up permanently. Oh, no. We're back. Oh, dicks. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, I actually need to carry on playing this a bit, I think, but we'll move on to the next game. This is Kordunk. This one mixes up basketball with programming. This is going to be absolute hell to Let's Play, so this might be the one where, if you're interested in this, go and play it yourself. Uh, but let's have a bit of a fiddle around with it, because it's insanely clever, and I love the idea of it. Uh, this is puzzle the first puzzle. So you s basically we've got um, red guys, who are the enemy, green guys, who are us, and we have to get the ball to here, position number seven. But to do that, we've got a code. Uh, we've got to use these commands by dragging them onto the uh, programming list here. And then we've got to run the program uh, and everything will be groovy, hopefully. And to, and to make it even more complicated, um, you actually have to do it for two different programs. Um, task zero list and task one list or something. Uh, but at the moment, um, I can't actually do anything else because um, I need to actually select who I want to move. Because I've, I've put a move command here, and what I want to do is move uh, my green player, uh, number five. Oh, hang on, no, I need to... Oh, who is he? G number one. I have to click on that. So I'm going to move G1 to position number seven. Uh, and then he should... That should program him to move to position number seven. This is really easy first level. But I also... This is task list number one. Um, of two, whatever. Um, so th the um, the same program has to also work for this completely different set of people. 
it's not completely different. Um, but for this first one, I mean, I've, I've, I've programmed it so it moves um, our G1 lad to that position. So this should actually work for both. Um, so if you press play, take my word for it, it won. <laughs> it just did. So let's move on to the next one. This is going to be the harder one. Um, still not hopefully too hard. Now we've got a list of three things to do. Oh dear. Uh, the different commands, by the way, it does give you like a full manual in-game. And also a text file you can download if you want. Um, which uh, goes through all the millions of rules and commands and the task lists and... Uh, and there's examples. And if you really want to cheat, there's actually a solutions list. Um, if you're actually interested in seeing how it all, it all works. Um, so, let's see. So, in my first task, I've got... Um, well, let's have a look. It looks like um, this time I've got to pass the ball from mate one to mate number two. So, let's try that. Let's immediately just do that. P.S. So, the program... Let's press play. Well, by the looks of it, this didn't work. This didn't work, but this one did. Um, if I just pass the ball to him, that actually puts the ball into position seven and have won, but only for task number two. For zero and one, all that's going to happen is the ball's going to end up here, and in fact the same one for here as well. So, um, what, I, what I reckon, I don't know the solution to this, but it should be incredibly simple, is maybe if I move my G, G2 to seven first, yeah, that should work. That should be actually very straightforward. Let's drag that to there. Uh, move G2 to position 7. Uh, and then pass. And it should work. That should be very straightforward. So let's just step through the program, um, starting with task 0, so we actually see it work. So, yep, green moves to position 7. We pass the ball and we complete it. Moving on to task list 1. G2 moves to 7. Ball is passed, we've done it successfully. And now we're doing T2. Yeah, le um, level complete. It is actually as easy as that. Okay, fair enough. Emboldened, I'm actually going to move on to here. We're not going to get very far now. Um, we've only got one ta task this time. Um, now these these lads here, the other commands, are ones which I don't even want to get into because they're insane. They're like increment D0. This is when we get into probably like assembler and awful things like that. Um, you can decrement D0, you can go two lines, you can actually do like subroutines. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just thick. How do you even, how would you even slightly do this? Um, the, um, the red guys can intercept in certain circum circumstances. An opponent will steal the ball if the player holding the ball moves over them. Well, can't you just like them um, pass the ball all the way across there? Let's see what happens if I just do that. Oh, red intercepts it. Oh. So, already, I have absolutely no bloody idea. But this is the sort of game that you'll know if you like it or not. Um, and you, you'll also know if it's too clever for you. Uh, moving on. Super fun action chess. Uh, this is a real-time strategy game crossed with chess. And I don't understand it in the slightest. But let's have a go at the story mode. I'm here for your head. The price a rebel pays. Will you not hear our demands, our suffering? Would a hunter listen to a fox before the kill? You are the wretched dog. You are right, prick. Here we go. So I'm red, they're blue, and I have to take the king. And it all happens in real time. So let's get our pawns on the go. Quick. Oh dear, I think there might be a bit of a... Oh dear, they're sharing a spot. That's not ideal. So I can take any piece when, it, when I see a little red circle. But it's all a bit weird. There we go. Take. Take. Take! Oh, I'm taking left, right, and centre here. Um, you have to keep on keep people moving constantly. Oh, no, someone's taking me. Oh, it's okay. I think I, I managed to actually get the look of the draw there. Right. Where's the king? Which one's the king? I think that's the king. King! King! Have I taken the king? I've won! Actually, I have, I, I'm actually getting the hang of this. I, 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 on my first go, it was just utter chaos. I didn't know someone was... Anyway, I'm here for the crown and your head! What are you doing? I'm your king! I will be the king. No one is stronger. You have no honour. I will have my head. What the hell are you on about? You daft twat. Anyway, let's get on with it. I think it's exactly the same game again. But this time we've got a different story. It's probably really hard now. Anyway, let's get our bishop. I think it's a wizard. Are you a knight? You are a knight. Oh, look at you knighting away the all over the shop. Right, you just got to do it as quickly as possible. It's really just about speed, this game. And also not getting tonked by pricks. Oh, God, I got tonked by pricks. What a palaver. I'm just trying to take my own man there. Let's get... Oh, he's a knight! Oh, uh, 
What's going on? Help! Help! My king's getting taken! King! Run! My king successfully run. Oh no, what's going on now? I think I think I'm just kinged. I think I'm just turbo kinged. Why am I getting I need I need to I need to get my king from I'm using my king to kill everyone. No, no. God damn it. I've got no men left. Uh quick. Right. Oh So yeah, this is chaotic fun really. I've just been double check the rules and apparently um whichever uh, piece was moving first will win an encounter, if there's any doubt, if two people try to move to the same square at once. Uh, which is good to know. Um, there's no randomness involved after all. Um, but yeah, this is a fun little idea. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, do check out the playlist for more from Ludumdare41, and do subscribe to the channel for coverage of all the best new indie games around. I also have a Patreon if you want to help make the channel better, or just want to buy me a coffee every month. Uh, the link's in the description.